What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my two cohorts in this crime that we call YouTube. Jesse. How you doing? And Mike. What's up? Guys, we're going to be reacting, reviewing, and, and whatever other R word we do to The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 6, entitled Swear. Swear. Oh, now I, I get the title. Swear now I get the th what the title is. Oh, usually those titles kind of mean something in the show, don't they? All these one yeah. words. Uh, guys, we got a we got a Tara centric episode here. All right, not not a whole hell of a lot going on. Um, but uh, before we get into that, let me give you the recap of, of what the hell this, this this was all about. All right, so. For this episode, um, away from all the tragedy caused by Negan and his saviors, Tara and Heath run into trouble after crossing paths with a mysterious new group. That's the major thing about this, uh, this it's episode. It's not really true, though, is it? Well, yeah, he's, Heath doesn't run into the group. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Heath doesn't run. Basically, to, to you know... Okay, <laughs> it's so like... I, I mean, look, let me ask you this. How did you guys feel about this particular, the fact that it was just like Tara? I mean, she's not, I get it. She's a device, right? Let's, can she's we agree? Not, she's yeah. not the strongest actor, number one, with, you know, within the cast. And that's a big thing, you know, since we kind of had hints that this was going to be the Tara-centric um, episode. I didn't, honestly, so I didn't think it was going to be. Whole, Episode? Yeah, I didn't think it was the whole episode. I thought they were just, we were going to see where they've been up to, and then maybe go back to like the kingdom or something. That's what that's what I was hoping for. I was not pleased with this episode too much. But but uh, wait, but don't but I mean listen, don't get down too much because it was definitely yeah. it, they used her, Heath to a lesser extent, but mostly her to expose this new town we call Oceanside. Yep. Um, yeah, I liked it. You liked it? Yeah, it, it was. It wasn't too dark or serious or even plot like developing it was a good episode that just lets you cruise on through and get minor uh, plot and details mike what was it tell us I, it, it you know honestly what? i don't want you guys to kill me but i think it was probably one of the worst episodes but, ever of the but show wait, but why oh, i'm not saying it was why? the best episode ever why because you were saying it i the just whole don't time. think it that was what? i just don't think that tara is a strong enough not not only I mean she's an okay actor, but I just don't think that she's a strong enough or main character to have dedicated a whole episode uh, to her because it really was. I mean, I know that it's like it's um what's the word? Just kind of like a lead in. They need to bring this new yeah. like you said, and they're bringing in this new Oceanside community. Yeah. But for me, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of her. Number one. She's one of those. She's not even a B to me, a B character. She's more the D. Even like she's a, a tertiary. Team. Yeah, she's. That's basically it to sum it up. I just don't think that it was um, a great choice, I and mean, especially with all the the negative publicity and the ratings drop. Even though it's still getting like eleven million people watching the show. Yeah, but there's but, definitely people that people are not really into the season. That's the that's the thing. They're not really into the season, guys. And it's like it's well, a this little doesn't add to it. exactly well, we, this one. Up until this episode, we all said that we still love. I've I've loved the the season. I, yeah, we talked about it last night. We were like having. Yeah. We love having. We love this season. Yeah. Like people are not liking it, but I'm loving this season. Like I am. They yeah. could have sum. They could have summed this whole episode up. In a little fifteen-minute clip, they could have sped it up a little bit more. There was so many nah. scenes that we didn't necessarily see. Yeah, look, you see. got you got I these wanted two... more of Eugene. Yeah, well, I mean, we're gonna. I mean, I'd obviously, rather have more. Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna see that. We're definitely gonna get more of him. Well, I mean, this help. episode in particular, I want yeah. more of like oh, Tara yeah. and Eugene. Yeah, yeah. you know, but, but the thing is, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, true, but you know, they um, they took these two characters. He. And and her at least, Heath is even even worse. Thank God he wasn't in it that much because yeah. Yeah. he started off horrible this episode. He was like halfway decent like last season, but this yeah. episode just we just I know we we were all like oh my god he's so annoying shut the fuck up you're so annoying. But, and then we thought he was, and then we thought he was taken out. I know. Well, he you know. probably could still be. What happens in the episode is obviously he gets. <laughs> They get separated, and she goes back for him, and it looks like he. Um, they did the old uh, dreaded Walker trick where we thought it was Heath, and it wasn't. How many dreads? 
Yeah. Oh, they are in the apocalypse. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah, it's very, it's funny how whenever they need, you know, there's it's a It's always dread. there. Oh, but. Yeah. Remember Michonne? Remember with Michonne when she was having her. When she was having her, her fucking breakdown? Her, yeah, like, her, walker kills in the yeah, woods. Yeah. Exactly. But, yeah. I mean. You know, so so they took the. I mean, both those characters are not that fucking strong, and it's just like I agree with you guys. It, it, it shouldn't have been, it shouldn't have been a fucking whole episode. Again, we've said it. Yes, we get it. They they used her for the device to get the other town into the picture, and great. And we have a theory about that. You know, at the end we'll talk about that. But I mean, yeah. Well, let's we discuss. Let's discuss who these ocean side people are. All right, shoot. Go ahead. Bunch of douchebags. Bunch of douchebags. Yeah, uh, excuse so... me, they're douche women. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so we obviously see Tara washing up on the shore, and the episode starts with this little girl and Cindy. Um, the Stupid little girl was Rachel, right? Bitch. Yeah, Rachel. And, they're just, and Rachel Who cares what is her this psych- name is. Yeah, She's Rachel an is, psycho. is psycho with the spear and ready to kill yeah. anything and everything. And they find we have Tara to... washed up. Yeah. So Cindy being the. Um, I guess not the the norm when it comes to the she's ocean the side. She's the troublemaker, just, Mike. She's yeah. the troublemaker. Well, saves her ass, kind of saves Tara's ass, leaves her some food, leaves her some water, and we end up seeing Tara wake up and following Cindy into the woods where we see this camouflage community. Um, it's an old beach bungalow, beach, yeah, campsite. bungalow resort type situation. It's a uh, it's a motorcade, right? Yeah. So basically, there's. Um, it seems like there's a lot of camo. They 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 found this camouflage. They're hiding, the right? Yeah. Built. Yeah, they're hiding in the woods. All, and it and we find out that found it's a all Walmart. Women. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Raided found a the Walmart. Walmart sporting, sporting goods section. But basically, um, Tara gets herself into a little bit of trouble, and they kind of give the story about um, why they are in the place that they are and how they found yeah. the place. And then they allude to a fight with another group. So they got guns. They have food with the fish. They can go fishing. They a ton of guns. They have food. It's, it it's, um, I mean, they killed, I mean, Jesse and I thought we saw a couple of dudes, but I guess we didn't. I, I thought I saw, I did. I thought I, I think we saw, thought one I saw a putty tat, like but I did. A lot of chicks with short hair. I guess so. Yeah. So well, remember, no men. Every no men under 10 years old. Right. Yeah. So there yeah. might've been like an eight year old, maybe a little kid maybe. or something running. Around. Either way, either way, it's a, it's a, it's a matriarch society and you know, they bring Terry and whatever. And so, yeah. Okay. So we find out, we could obviously come to find out that the saviors killed all of their fucking men. Yep. Because they In do. an ambush. That's what they fucking they do. Yeah, I mean, they... so, so great. So, so now we have this other town that, um, it's a, it's a new town. So now we're, we're looking at three, uh, two other towns, not include right, not including Alexandria. So we got the yeah. hilltop. Sorry, three. So we have the hilltop kingdom, and now we have Oceanside. So I will say this though, just to digress a tiny bit, thinking back to the scenes with with Tara in like her interrogation. Um, you know, you're saying she's not a great actor and everything. Although the character itself, um, I enjoyed a couple of the scenes. I yeah. enjoyed I enjoyed her responses, and she's like. Uh, you know, like when she was like, "Oh, yeah, I was totally lying." You know, like, yeah, I like, that I like, like some the of that humor part. It'll, they want to throw in a little humor. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And Tara, I think, I think Tara's the she's character a smart for Alec. that. Yeah, and I like that. Yeah. I like, I like the little smartness about it. But like you she's said, our new Glenn. Yeah, she could be our new Glenn. Glenn wasn't that funny either, though. <laughs> yeah, right. Funny. I mean, he had his moments. He had his moments. But, you know, so, all right, so there you go. So that, I mean, and, and, and really that's all there is to that fucking place. They, they want to keep, they want to keep it secret. We've yeah, got yeah. a, we got a fucking genealogy fucking lesson from the matriarch who was like, and so-and-so is my this, and so-and-so is my this, and so-and-so is my this. Yeah, we know how fucking families work, asshole. <laughs> she was my daughter, who was Cindy's mother. Cindy's yeah. mother, and then her, and then Cindy's father, who was my, like, all right, okay, that's we get it. Awesome. <laughs> so okay so that's that so they want to stay hidden and uh they if i can you know i mean but you know, well, for, a moment there, for a moment there we thought that they were gonna they bring... were actually gonna possibly take tara's idea of uh maybe a meetup or a potential uh an alliance yeah. that was and south we find out that when exactly jesse exactly yeah so literally south yeah so that was fucked up though i'm not gonna lie and then that Cindy to the rescue up. again. And yeah. then that's where we come to... A lot of Tara. convenience this episode. 
Yeah, going back to the bridge and Tara looking for Heath. And... They fucking phoned this shit in, didn't they? This one, right? Oh, they, they were like, "Listen, we need a filler. We yeah. need we need it, we need to progress a plot about this about about this much. Yeah. <laughs> let's throw let Tara. I mean, and let's make it an hour and ten minutes. You know, I mean, yeah. I think we've gone over everything that happened in this yeah. episode. Well, wait before we before we before we I, I do let's talk about the good stuff. And one yeah. of the good things, I mean, the, the, the good stuff of the show for me um, were the zombies. Uh, oh, yeah. We got to see a lot of cool zombie kills. We got to see a lot of cool zombies. Seeing the zombies, especially like the, the, the deteriorated from the sand with no eyes and like, that was cool. I like, I enjoyed yeah, cool those zombie zombies. having those, the sand. Those are out freaky. Out. Plus, we also got a lot of zombies with personality this time, didn't we? Think about it. Think about it. We got the one that guy was pulling down the the fucking tarp. <laughs> we got the guy came around the boat all shuffling around, right? Get off my boat, bitch. Get off my boat, bitch. Like, <laughs> I think we got some we got some silly zombies this one. I liked it. They were like trying right. to make out with her before they knocked her over. Like, I Grab enjoyed enough. the zombies. Yeah. So so touchy feely zombies. If you want to talk yeah. about like favorite scenes, like for me it was anything with the zombies, the the bigger zombie scenes. Those are my favorite scenes of this episode. You know what I'm saying? One in particular when she's like yelling for Heath, we're in this together and like there's one there that has a clear bite in her shoulder oh, like yeah. could literally bite her shoulder yeah and wow. she's like fending one off with a hubcap it's like come on yeah it was, yeah. yeah she's hitting she's hitting walkers with hubcaps. i'm sorry but like okay so we're seven seasons into this this show about zombies and it's like there are so many times where they're just like ar, ar, ar. meanwhile it's like if they really wanted to bite them they would have just lunged and they're like not sit two there. years and something into it though so they're like decaying big time but but still they're not making the move for it. they're moving yeah, at fast any enough. moment they're just yeah, yeah they're not made like we saw it in the premiere when the thing was like at it just it's just at his leg like this and it's it's really you're not going to go for his calf it, and there's yeah. no one was holding the zombie back and, and again they did in this episode and they're just like, Arr. she's not even holding one of them. And it's just basically not hitting her with it. It's headbutting her. And it's like, well, we'll, well, we'll, give, we'll, give, we'll give the TV. director the thumbs down for the episode. Whoever directed the, the episode. And <laughs> I, hope it wasn't I, I wouldn't give him a thumbs down on that. I mean, you got to think about this. Uh, oh, this is definitely not a Nicotero episode. You can no, tell, right? I don't even need it's to. It's not a Nicotero episode, but like. The walkers, they haven't eaten in who knows how long. And those so guys were those down. guys were insane. But Jesse, still, dude, I'm telling you, there were I'm shots. Saying, you where... gotta give a little credit to like uh, remember I, I, back I to season three. Though, because, look, they don't they... eat, they get slow. They did those look they were they were fast enough to grab her and strong uh, enough to hold her. So and no, pull they're themselves not... out of the dirt. Yeah, they pulled those fucking themselves this is true. and pulled Tara and stuff. Heath couldn't get they're off their not... ass. Yeah, I, they... I'm not wanting to bash this episode fully, honestly, because people are bashing the show enough and I get I you. Try look, look I said I lining. enjoyed the zombie stuff. I'm but I mean overall, I'm not talking about this episode in in, in general I'm talking about in general the whole season. These zombies are clearly in positions at very yeah. specific positions to put their mouths and jaws on a part of a human. Yeah. And multiple times in these past fucking six episodes, it hasn't happened. Well, Obviously, cool. they can't yeah. because we yeah. want things to move yeah. forward and we don't want this character. But it's like you well, need to focus a little more on where you're placing these fucking things. That's a callback yeah. to the beginning of the season, though. Like the walkers aren't a threat anymore. So, mm. But when they're at literally at your throat. It's but they're not a threat something. anymore. So who cares? <laughs> anyway, All right, zombie anyway, stuff. Zombie that. stuff in this episode was yeah. really cool. I, en yeah. I enjoyed it. And who, what were you, what was some of your favorite shit, Mike? Well, this kind of goes. I mean, I, you didn't like have any. It's not that no, but uh, this goes with kind of like my theory, and I'll I'll just yeah. All I mean, right, lay it on us. Let's let's just drop. Right, let's so drop my, the theory my, bomb. My my theory bomb is in the beginning of the episode when we first see Heath and we see Tara. And they come upon the bridge and they see the sand pile and all this kind of stuff. Basically, Heath, uh, you know, while Tara's pulling on that that duffel bag, whatever the hell it is, it's a Heath, is Heath is, yeah, duff, whatever it was, Jesse. Yeah. Like, come on. I thought it was a duffel so, suit. <laughs> it looked like a so big duffel bag. Heath is kicking around the sand and he sees like a ton of of spent shells. Yeah. Yeah. You know, casings. So for me, as soon as I kind of saw that, I kind of thought of Rosita with the spent casing oh, that yeah. she gives okay, to. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. That she gives to um, Eugene. So I don't necessarily think that Tara. Well, we find out right away that Tara didn't spill the beans to Rosita. 
you know, that she didn't tell them of this place because obviously the ocean side has a shitload of guns. Yeah. So I'm not, so I don't necessarily think, I think Tarot Keeper promise about not telling anybody about any, any of these people, but what she may kind of spill the beans about is that there were these spent shell casings or someone will. Uh, well, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. So that, I mean? she doesn't so maybe have, they go, yeah, maybe the Alexander. She's like, Oh, well we found this go. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Not a yeah. town, but we found, we found this. this bridge or, you know, cause it is a little bit of a way. So maybe they'll keep digging into her. Where were you? What did you, did you do? You didn't really tell us anything. Where the hell were you? Okay, okay, yeah, I found yeah. this bridge. Yeah, and no, maybe I, they'll yeah, go, I, I and that's that. when there'll be a possible Oceanside, Alexandria um, Meet up. collision yeah, yeah, of sorts, because I'm assuming the Oceanside would think that the Alexandrians are there for a threat, and maybe Tara did say something, when in actuality... They were just there for the casings. Yeah. And maybe they'll get to talking. Maybe someone will die because of the conflict between the two groups. But obviously, the Oceanside people are there for a reason. They made this episode for a reason. They gave us the Cindy character for a reason. They gave us this badass little girl, Rachel, for a reason that maybe she can be an asset. So will they all well, come together? Well, she's definitely part of that word. Well, <laughs> Will they come to this big? So that's my big theory that they eventually will meet up. They'll al- They'll make an alliance with this Oceanside community. But I think it'll all start with the casings. What about? You know? Okay. What about? What do you guys think about what happened to Heath? Obviously, he was in distress. His glasses fell off his face and broke, and he was taken somewhere. So, what do we think about that? He left a card that said TPP or PPP. PPP. Or hotel. What if it said DDD? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> he wrote it <laughs> or he just had to pee really bad and he said i'm p p p you know i'm out i gotta take a leak i'm out you know Broke my glasses i'm gonna go pissing blind it's fine so i don't but know so so we got it so we got a little i know we got a little we got a little yeah. fucking mystery going on with that um yeah i mean i'm thinking like as far as like theory stuff like uh, you mentioned it before about all the towns coming together. So if anything, that's four towns against Negan. Maybe, maybe they thought, like the showrunners were like, maybe we need like another town, another. But they, don't forget, Oceanside's very small. There's not a lot of people. There's what twenty. There are. They do have, they do have like weapons. Else. Yeah, they what? have the yeah. weapons. Well, they have weapons, right? So they okay, so they can supply some. Okay, yeah. So all right, so yeah. they're doing something, and that's gonna work its way into something, I guess. Ocean very, side's gonna very, work. Yeah. <laughs> whether they whether they whether they fight or not, they're gonna well, give I mean, them something. Yeah. 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 There'll right. be some there's a reason for them. Yeah. Especially well, for yeah. an hour yeah. and ten you know, an hour and ten minute episode just to introduce them. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? We could have summed up Tara and Heath's um trip in uh ten minutes, you know. Five yeah. words. So obviously, or less. yeah. So there's a reason for this. Nothing and then Cindy, you. the Cindy character herself. You know, they kind of they they pushed her forward from the ocean. You know what I mean? She's yeah, one of these, so she's gonna be around for something. I don't know. Yeah. Bill, Who, by the be... way, is an excellent marksman. She's pretty she good. Did say, yeah, pretty she good. did say that that she's a great shot or something like that. They had mentioned, yeah. but yeah, I guess I you know I guess uh, I guess we'll see for uh, for the next two two more episodes, boys. Two more. Well, well yeah. yeah. I don't I mean, know. We got, we got a preview. This week of what happens next week. Talk about that and that kind of confirms what we were saying earlier this season about where the midseason is going to end. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. We definitely. So uh, what happened in the in the trailer? Um, what, what, what's the name of the next episode? Oh, yeah. You want to break them off with that, Jesse? Let's see if the comic uh, book readers understand this one. What is, isn't it? Sing me a song. Sing me a song. Yes, yes. Right, or sing to me. Sing me a song. Sing a song or something. Yeah. Sing, yeah. sing a song to me. Anyways, Negan says it in the comics to uh, Carl when he come or when he's found in the yeah. uh, in the Savior's sanctuary. Yeah. So I uh, I think our our theories from last week that the fact that he's gonna get you know he's gonna get taken yeah. in by Negan and mm. I'm excited. Which is the mid season <laughs> is could be, like. Yep. Yeah. Did he? Did Carl take out anybody before he? Before no, he no, no, no. Just snuck it. I don't remember. I don't think so, though. Where in the in the comic or here? In the comic book. No, 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 no. He just. Oh, I for some reason. I mean, I haven't read that again. I don't think he did. But when he, I, I thought he jumped out with a gun. Didn't he jump out with a gun? 
I thought it was a knife. A knife? I don't see. I don't fucking know. Well, in the comic book, he has an assault rifle. He's got an assault rifle. I thought he jumped yeah. out and was, like, shooting at people. Didn't he kill some people? I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't oh, remember. Man. He's got it on him. We should, cause he's looking, uh, right? I don't but want anyway, have to comic on me. Yeah, but uh, anyway, yeah. sing me a song. Sing me a song. Is so, yeah, definitely... so definitely Carl. But then we saw a bunch. But it's going to flip-flop. We're gonna. So we're going to get. we're going to get some Rick stuff. We we're saw Rick get... in a boxcar with Aaron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're out, right? So they're out looking yeah. for some. So what's going we on there? We saw Michonne following a trail. So Michonne, oh, Michonne, yeah. where the fuck did she go? She we saw one of my favorite following... Jesus parts. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Jesus, we saw. So it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a pretty, pretty packed episode. I think it's gonna be worth the fucking price of admission for next week. And and yeah, we can and I think it's episode. an hour and a half. Is it? I believe the next two episodes. Uh, rumor has it. I can uh, double check that real rumor quick. Rumor has it. Yeah, it's supposed to be an hour and a half or so. Okay. All right. I believe that's what I heard. Okay, all right. Uh, well, either way, um, yeah. is that it? Did we did we cover this fucking episode? Yeah, can we, can we just fucking be done with this episode? Let's yeah, just let's not episode. beat this dead horse like we did in uh, episode this. two. Yeah, with yeah. the with the baseball bat. Yeah, but just keep dead watching. Zombie. We love. We've been getting a lot of questions. Let's mention this fast. We've been getting a lot of questions um, on on previous vids on a, on a, on a previous Q and a video that we did in the beginning of the, uh, of season um, seven. So we'd, um, we were talking, uh, off camera. So we're thinking that maybe we'll do one of those eventually, possibly after the, after the break here. Um, yeah. so if you have any questions, if you have questions about the, the episodes that are coming within the next couple of weeks with any questions about that stuff, please write them. We love the comments. We love to answer as many as we can. There so will just, be an official pre uh, pre Q and A video, which yes. like you can put all of your questions there. But if you have them on any other video, we will get them from there too. Hey, how yep. about this? Can I throw this out there? If you guys are on Twitter and you guys are either on Twitter or on Instagram or whatever, if you guys want to throw out the hashtag Third Person Pod, put that in your que- in your you know in your question statement, whatever, wherever you type it on, and exactly. uh, and we'll we'll look for that too. So that's a place you could do it too. You yep. can just type in uh, do do a hashtag Third Person Pod. And we'll find that, and that's a way to get the question to us, too. What's so. that other hashtag we were talking about so much today, Chris? I get so emotional, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Hashtag I get so emotional, hashtag baby. I get, that's the hashtag for this. Uh, if you guys if you guys haven't seen the live reaction, go watch the live watch reaction. Yeah. You'll, see, you'll see what we're talking about. You'll see a lot of Whitney And then, Houston. wait, but, but I actually don't put any of that in the video. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got to put all of it in it. I'm gonna put it all in. It's 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 most likely. Yeah. Right. So go check out the live reaction if you have it, guys. I think that's gonna do it do it for us here live at li- fucking time. Live. We're tired. It's late. It's, we're doing this late. It's a late one, guys. Yeah. That's gonna do it for us here at Third Person Pod. I want to thank you so much for uh, watching and, and um, taking care of us. Okay, does, does someone else want to end this thing? Because I can't do this anymore. Yeah, taking care. Of, just we we love the continued yes, support. Uh, we love these questions. Keep writing them in. Show us some love. Tell a friend. Tell your friend. Even your like friend, and subscribe. Man. You know, we, we'll take them. We'll take them. That shit's but overall, free, yo. The continued support. <laughs> and free. we just yeah. love, we love it the It lets us know if you like the, con- uh, the content. Say what? Oh, you guys remember that dildo bat on the gun, though? Yeah, yeah. It was the dildo, the dildo oh, bat. Like, Someone drew the dildo, dildo bat on bat. the hilt of the fucking, on her revolver. It was a dildo bat. Hashtag Rapid dildo bat. Fire. Yeah, that was hard. No, we're not doing hashtag dildo bet. (laughs) Anyway, that's going to do it for us. You guys are awesome. We love you. We'll talk to you later on. We'll see you next video. Peace out.